people DG I'm back again quick video as I'm obviously I'm actually processing a video and uploading it and I need to go and get ready but I've got 30 seconds we might as well speak about a couple stuff um you lot know me I love young players and with the FA Youth Cup and just you know cup competitions here and there around the around the globe um well Europe specifically there's a lot of players to tune into um yeah man um yeah, there's a lot of particularly Dutch players I've been looking at. But first and foremost, I was watching the FA Youth Cup, Bournemouth against Millwall. And it was a dramatic game. Bour um, not, not Bournemouth, sorry, Bright. Millwall won 3-2 towards the end. And yeah, man, it was it was littered with some good talents. Um, I watched Bournemouth here and there in terms of their academy. At the time of making this video, I believe they've got 99 goals scored at under-18s level. Um, they ne their next one's 100, so they're a very good goal-scoring side. And they've got some decent players, man. They've got Kavan Williams. Very what first thing that stuck out about me with him? He's got good movement. He can drop deep, do little one twos and things like that. He's decent on the ball. He's not afraid technically. He'll have a shot. Obviously, he's got Jamaican heritage as well, so that's always gonna make me like him. But I, I think he's he holds onto the ball well. He, he he shows for the ball well. He links up well, and he's a fairly decent finisher. Um, Abu Malik of Millwall, um, he's an under-17s um, England international, he's been called up to the side, he can play up front, he can play on the flanks and I'm sure he can play inside. He had a good game against Bournemouth and he is a very good player. Um, very, very. I'm so sure he's left footed, but he cut. He carries the ball well, like he short showed against Bournemouth. And to be fair, being 16, 17 years of age, however old he is, being at Millwall, um, you can't imagine the compensation fee is going to cost that much. And I'm sure Millwall fans know themselves. They're pretty used to seeing their players poached by other clubs, and he might be one. People, he's a very good ball carrier, and he plays with his head up, which I really like about him. A player that stuck out for me the last couple of times I've seen Bournemouth, and I know he's had a couple of injuries this campaign, is Luke Pardo. I think he reminds me a bit of Ryan Fraser. He's a nuisance as a, as a left-back to play against or a full-back to play against because he's very positive. He'll always take you on. Technique can improve a bit in terms of the final ball, but I like what I see from that lad a lot. Keeping up with, with Bournemouth... Um, and a player I've got a lot of time for, and he's been at Bournemouth, I think he's been at Reading, Brentford, and a couple of other setups. Nathan Moore Welsh. Now he played, um, he can play in the centre of of the park, good engine, good passing range, gets around the field, a bit like Fernandinho with a bit more, you know, on, on the ball sort of thing. I really like him. He's nothing like Fernandinho, but he just reminds me in his mannerisms like that. His passing is very good, he's very good in the final third. I like him a lot, man. And I think I actually think part Luke Pardo. Kavan Williams and Nathan, Nathan Moore Welsh, despite the fact I'm not watching them religiously, they've all got potential to one day potentially get to Bournemouth's first team. I really like Nathan Moore Welsh, man. Very good. What what strikes out about me is that he's very good on the ball and he's and he's got a he's got a good engine. He's very he's a very dynamic player, people. Um he's irrelevant from Bournemouth or Millwall, but um I'm sure you all saw Gio Reyna, player I've spoken about before. Um, you saw him score a bang off for for um Bort, for Dortmund in their defeat against where the Bremen in the DFP DFB Copa Poca or whatever it's called Cup or Poca whatever it's called. But either way, he scored a banger in there, and it's crazy seeing these players turn up. I mean, Highland keeps scoring, Reina keeps scoring. It's scary, but Highland and Reina's dads, I'm sure, were teammates at Man City, and now their sons are teammates as young prodigies. At Dortmund, really, it's crazy how football works, people. But he looks like he's going to be a player. Moving away from that, and Bristol City have a little young player who I like the look of when I've seen him. Keen to learn a lot more about him. But I, man, Ben Benaros, I can't say his name, but he's an attacking sort of midfielder. He can play in the 10. He can actually play out wide as well as centrally. Very technical-based player, as you'd expect, and he's got a good left foot. I believe he's on... Um, Algerian heritage fire his father and he's got that East African flair in my opinion he's nothing like Mares and things and, and all of these players but for me I'd like to see Algerian and Moroccan players and Eastern African players they play with a sort of swagger they play with us you rarely see players from there that are not especially the attackers you don't see basic Algerian midfielders they've always got decent at set pieces they always got a little bit of flair about them and obviously he wasn't born I, well, I assume he was born in England to obviously parents or parent of Algerian descent but he follows that 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 sort of cultural thing for me man he's a very decent player as they all are respectively in their own rights people you lot know me I love young players at all levels I'm always going to be here talking about them if for nothing more than just chat 
But for now, I've spoken about them all people, deluded, I'm out. Um, yeah, man. The most exciting young player, I'd have to say, I'm most excited about is probably Gravin Beck, who's played for Ajax, Onovar, who's played for Ajax, um, or in Har or, or yeah. Iharatarin, I can't say his name, Iharatarin, the PSV young G, Moroccan slash um, Dutch heritage. But for now, there's really nothing more to add, so I'm going to keep it moving. As usual, love for the support people, but I'm out, DG.